Welcome again to the KCTV and I hope you are going to join me until the end of this video. In this video, I'm going to take you through what is going to happen if next week on the 6th of uh, November 2024, the court will be rolling against the petition which was taken to court by Right Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa to prevent Kidure Kindiki Abraham from taking oath of office. This comes after a William Ruto traveled to Burundi in Bujumbura town for the 23rd Comesa Summit, which is set to be held at the place. After the impeachment of Rigadi Gashagwa, Raila Molo Odinga now demands that Moses Wetangula must resign. This is after he showed his side on the government side. And according to Raila's statement, the Speaker of the National Assembly has no authority to choose any side. Neither motion, which has been brought before the National Assembly. Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta for the first time has spoken about Kenyan politics and the crucial information that he has given has really shocked Kenyans. The first thing that Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta has started by saying is uh, saying that he warned Kenyans and they are now experiencing what he warned them against. Elisha Ngoya Gadi Gashagwa's lawyer has also said that whereas we know that justice delayed is justice denied, we also know that justice hurried is justice miscarried. Do you agree with this quote that has been now invented by Elisha Ongoya in a move to siege the three judge bench to rule in their favor and allow Gadi Gashagwa in office for a further period? High Court refused to hear this. Kidure Kindiki is to be sworn in as the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya at exactly 10 a.m. today in the KICC. And all Kenyans are welcome. I will be there. I will be telling you what will be happening to get that. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell as you await more updates on our platform.